that is the news from today's appointment. It's a little different than I was expecting. Good morning guys, it's 6 a.m. I am walking the dogs, which is what you have to do in summer in Arizona to beat the heat. It's ridiculous here. It's like 110 every day and it's just hot, hot. So today's a full day. I wanna take you along because I have a cancer follow-up appointment. So we'll go to the cancer center. We'll get my eyebrows touched up from a powder brow that I did and a haircut. So I wanna to talk to you a lot today, so come along. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the button down below so you don't miss a thing. I post weekly videos. 91 at 6.30 a.m. And 111 today. Awesome. Here's my breakfast, guys. I'm going to put some cream cheese. I have a mini bagel, orange, and egg. I made an egg and I'm splitting it with my son for some protein this morning. Um... An orange, it's so funny. I used to drink orange juice like every morning and then I realized how much sugar it has. So my kids might have it watered down, my husband, but I just don't do it anymore. And instead I just eat an orange, you know, so I get the fiber and stuff. So that's a change that I made a couple years ago. And those are little changes that you can make in your diet to help you. Multivitamin, and this one is a Pro Omega, um, which supports healthy brain and eyes. So I am taking that to hopefully help with my brain these days. Morning. Oh, cute. Would you want to come sit with us? Yes. Yes. All right, what's the next opposite word? Look at this. What is this? Hot. It's hot. It's the opposite of hot. Cold. Cold. What's that, what does that say? A giraffe is Tall. tall. And that is short. That's right. Okay, so tall to short. Mm -hmm. Nice job, bud. You did it. You want to do a maze or do you want to draw? Mm, a maze. Ooh, yeah. Daddy. You do daddy? Let's draw a circle. Oh! And eyes. And smile. That's like our daddy, huh? The beard. I just got home from doing a pickup order, got a bunch of groceries, the kids went with me, and I was just talking about not having a lot of sugar, and then I stop and get a smoothie. <laughs> like, um, it was, it's like 100 out already. It's 98 degrees. 98 degrees! Um, and I was waiting for my Target pickup order to be ready, but it was not, so, you know, life these days. Anyways, quick overhaul here. You'll see me usually buying organic food. I just prefer that. I mean, if you're gonna eat cereal, might as well try to be a little better. Some baby food for my kiddo, some risotto, so I can have that with like chicken and vegetables for dinner or something. Pita chips, you'll see a lot of fruit. Um, again, if it's dairy, um, always organic, much better. Um, we love hummus here, we love fruit. My son loves these, loves that. Some lettuce grapes so. Since I am a two-time survivor and I'm done with treatment, so far these, so far these follow-up appointments haven't really gotten to me that I can tell and it's probably because my life is so busy. I literally just left my toddlers with the babysitter, you know, unloaded groceries, and I just don't even have time to worry about what's next. So I try to practice and tell everybody about being in the moment. Um, and I just, I am forced to be in the moment so much. So um, depending where you're at on your journey, I would encourage you to just be in the moment. Don't think too far ahead past these appointments. Just one day at a time, one appointment at a time, and you will get to where you need to be, which is healed and cancer free.
So I'm just here waiting at the cancer center. I'll see my oncologist um, nurse practitioner today for a three month follow up. I'm on a three to four month follow up, I think right now, since being done with my second breast cancer journey. Um, I don't really have any concerns, so it should just go really well today. My only concern is this hair. No, um, <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> check. Um, check that off my list. Um, three month oncology follow-up done. Um, a little bit different maybe than I was expecting, but I was being positive guys. Um, so you guys might remember, but in one of my videos, I talked about having some itchy skin that presents like eczema between my, um, breasts, my implants. And I have since seen the dermatologist, which took three months to get into. And um, they prescribed a steroid cream and a follow-up. But telling my nurse practitioner that today in the location um, and my history, she would like a punch uh, skin biopsy done of that just to be sure that we have a pathology on it. Um, it's not a lump. I, I don't really feel like it's anything um but the only way to rule it out is you know to do the biopsy so i'll follow up with the dermatologist in two weeks and i'll be having that done i need to start my car it is so freaking hot here <laughs> um so i was kind of bummed to hear that because but i totally get where they're coming from we need to be very thorough when you have been a cancer patient and survivor so I'm not gonna stress about it, and I'm just saying that out loud so that I don't stress about it. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bars Okay, I'll go fish You can do better, I dare you to be wild Okay, I gotta go again, cause I don't want to I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens with final crowns You can do better, I don't know I dare you to be wild Okay, your turn I want to be silly, baby So I'm back home after all my appointments. I finally eat lunch. I'm hanging out with my son, just playing some card games. Um, let me just chat for a minute on two things. Um, I already shared how my appointment went at the cancer center. So just to elaborate on that, I did ask my nurse about a couple things. One, that my mom is on another medication, Lin, Linsparza or Olaparib. Um, and that is because she has had breast cancer three times and is at a higher risk. And so she's basically taking a chemo pill for a year and it's really depleting her energy. It's been very hard to be honest, guys. Um, she's navigating through that, talking to her oncologist. She has six months to go and we're just praying that she can get through it. Um, so I asked my nurse practitioner, not so much about that, but about a medication that's come up a couple times, which is called Keytruda. And, um, there's another triple negative mom out there I connected with on Instagram and she asked me whether I was taking it and my thoughts and how, you know, anything about it. And I replied, no, I'm not. I'm not on any medications after having breast cancer twice and doing chemo twice in radiation. Um, and my nurse practitioner basically said that I really just missed the cusp of them now using that at my cancer center. So if I had been diagnosed a little later or finished treatment a little later, I would likely be on that now. And we're not going to start it now because I'm at where I'm at. Um, but it is uh, shown to be effective during and a little bit after treatment for triple negative breast cancer patients. It's called Keytruda. And it's usually pretty tolerable with not a lot of side effects. Um, that being said, this friend that asked if I was taking it was having side effects. But she was also in a unique situation of 
recently having a baby and that could be part of it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that is out there, that treatment. You may go on it if you're triple negative. Um, I am not, and so I would love to hear your feedback in the comments about how that's going for you if you're on Keytruda. Please share with the community that watches this, these videos. All right, and then the next thing, I just got another haircut, guys, and I know it seems so backwards to get haircuts when you're trying to grow your hair out, but it gets so um, bushy all around my neck and ears that I just need to have that trimmed, and she didn't cut any from the top this time, but she did just kind of like, I don't know what they call it, like lighten it, feather it, um, just so it wouldn't sit like mushroomy right here. That's it. And um, so it's really nice to have my hair kind of cut and styled again as I'm continuing to grow it. Cause look, this is really good growth guys. This is a year after radiation and um, over a year after chemo. So I just want to show you guys that, that, and I had my eyebrow touch up today. This is permanent makeup that has been tattooed on. If you're local to Phoenix, I will put my girl's info down below. She would love to help cancer patients that are losing hair and eyebrows. So find her if you need her in the Phoenix area. And that's it guys. That's today's video. I just want to enjoy hanging out with my son and my daughter will wake up soon. And as always, I'm just so happy you guys are here. Um, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a video. I am constantly putting new information out there and letting you guys follow my journey. Um, I was just listening to a podcast today that was very enlightening on fasting and our body and inflammation. And I want to talk about it in my next live video. So subscribe so you don't miss that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.